So uh, we're talking about the history of RKL, and there's a lot of rumors and stuff that I could find on, you know, the great right. Wikipedia that's out there. Um, but I, there was one that I found very interesting, and you could debunk right now, or 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 at least tell me a little bit of why it would even come up. But was Josh Brolin, the actor, ever a part of RKL, or even a thought of RKL, or was he just like in the punk rock scene in Northern California as well? What can you tell me a little bit about that? It, you know. It, is there any merit to this? Or is there any backstory to it, or is it all just you know internet bullshit? Um, that's that's a that's a good question, <laughs> uh, and and I, I want to throw this out to Toby Morris because we did um, a tour with H two O. He asked me the same thing because he knows them really well. He's actually friends with them. Yeah, he just had him on his uh, uh, One Life to his Live podcast. Uh, podcast. Yeah. 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 And so um, I want to throw this one out to Toby because I was really drunk one night um, at the Lagwagon show that we did in Florida. It was, it was fucking a horrible show. So I decided to phone it in and, uh, and he asked me about it at that time. And I said, fuck Josh, bro, fuck that ass. You never in RKL, blah, 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 like that. So I have to apologize. This is this is what what I think the real story is, and and I talked to Chris too, Chris Rest, and mm-hmm. um, you know there was there were there were affiliations back in those days, right? So Josh Brolin and Chris Rest and Jason Sears they grew up in Montecito, and that's like the Oshuong, you know, of Santa Barbara. They're fucking, you know, that's where um, Michael Jackson's fucking stupid kid rape. <laughs> ranches, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the and, and uh, that's where Dobra lives and shit, and I, I mean, everybody. So there's, and I think uh, Ronald Reagan or something. Okay. So a lot of rich people, and, and rightly so, because Josh Brolin comes from the Brolin family, a long line of actors, uh, but they all grew up together, you mm-hmm. know? So I think the affiliation was, is that since they were all into punk rock at that time and they were all kids, and they all served together, and they all knew each other. They probably, you know, played music together at some point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was it RKL? I mean, I don't fucking know. Is that you know? A question, quite more, more a question for Chris? Because he was there. Uh, you, you joined the band, and uh, like we were just talking about the history. 80, 87. Yeah, and the, and the band formed earlier in that, like 80, I, what? I mean, when Josh Brolin was friends with those guys, I'm sure it was like 81. Or eighty two, right? Or it was even before they actually formed a band with the RKL name, in which it. is which is which is pre Goonies for all of you people out there too, just just before Goonies. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, so I don't know, man. Like, would you consider consider yourself a part of a band that you like kind of fucked around with, uh, but was never in the incarnation of the band? Would you ever say that you were in that band? Probably not. I wouldn't say I was in it, but I, I'd probably say, oh, I used to jam with those guys. Something like that. Right. Uh, apparently, I've seen him do an interview, and he said something totally different. <laughs> and I and I can, say, I can send you the link, too. Uh, Please do. Because, yeah, I, I, again, I was just uh, doing research for this chat and, and uh, research on RKL and uh, the stuff that kind of, you know, I'm just going off of what I, what I'm reading on the internet. So I, I was curious to ask you about it. It was something that me and our producer and booking agent who helps me do some of the research was very curious about. And, uh, we, you know, I, I want to, he- this is part of the cool stuff I get to find out is, uh, hearing it from the horse's mouth. Some of these stories. Yeah. Yeah, man. And I think Chris rest probably could tell you, could tell you a lot better than I can, mm-hmm. but I mean, being like in the band when it was called RKL, no. Nah. He was never in the band when it was RKL. 